Hi everyone. Today I'm trying to cook uh, chole. Uh, chole bhature. So I'll just make a chole. I can't make bhature. But I'm really good in making chole. Which is also called chana or chickpeas. And uh, sorry, ignore the washing machine which is working at the background. But uh, for chole, of course, we will take chole. We will take some spices like two tablespoon of uh, red chili, one tablespoon of uh, turmeric, coriander powder, and some cumin seeds. Also, I'm taking amchur powder and black salt and tomato puree, uh, fresh tomatoes, bacha chole masala, a bit of fresh cream, maybe two tablespoon or something. I'll use. Um, this is uh, kasuri methi and some cashews I have grind it like this so just to show you this this much amount of uh, cashews I'll put it in the chole as a secret recipe and it turns out very well now I'll start cooking chole hi friends so now I'm starting to cook uh, chole for that I have used uh, two tablespoon of oil I'll put some cumin seeds and it is on a full flame as of now yeah this is done I'll low down the gas a little bit it in a low flame now just to make the oil warm hot enough it was on a full flame roast it a little bit or fry it a little bit once that is done once that is done Excuse the mess over here, as I'm not professional, you can see. Once this is done, I will add the tomato puree. And there is some leftover, so what I'll do is, I'll put some water in it. Take everything out. That's it. All done. Almost. And mix very well with your cumin seeds, jeera. And also now it's time to put add all the spices like jeera powder uh, I mean coriander powder turmeric and red chili there it goes boom let's mix it together this gives more better taste and aroma and a color the way we want any Indian dish this is a basic gravy most of the time and also what I usually do is I add this kaju grind means cashew powder cashew nuts grinded mix at the same time so it blends well with the gravy and it gives a better texture and it makes more creamy and rich the gravy has to be perfect which is very important for the chickpeas what I have done is I have used the pre-cooked chickpeas like this in a tin uh, it's squashed now but you can see chickpeas in salted water yeah like this ready to cooked and ready to use so I have used that chickpeas saves time as now you can see uh, 
the gravy is simmering so it's cooked well now it is time to add amchur powder and black salt stir and i'll mix a little bit more to blend it i will add this chickpeas in my gravy which looks beautiful nice color as i wanted nice texture as it should be chickpeas are in and i'll mix it with the gravy Ooh. so my secret recipe was cashew nut crushed grinded cashew nuts powder and there you go now it's all mixed up and i will cover it on a medium flame for about 2 to 3 minutes and we'll see 2 minutes done now let's check how it looks mm yes that's that's how i and here goes some chole masala then some kasuri methi i should have taken that before in my hand i'll crush this much kasuri methi and chuck it in and some fresh cream let's open it and that's it okay guys after 2 minutes i'm checking again how is it looks mm i will need to add little bit of water and it's ready to be served so tell me your opinion and let me test a little bit and just taste it Hmm. Hmm. Tastes really well. All it will need is a little bit of water, and is ready to be served. Thank you, guys. Bye bye.